Hey guys, it's Russell back, and on today's video, I'm going to be continuing our Amazon Soap Fest. I'm going to be testing and reviewing Eagle One Nano Wash and Wax. As I've said before, on a lot of our soaps that I've been testing for this series, I don't know anything about this car soap. I've never used it before. Reading the label, it looks and sounds very similar to what we've tested before. The dilution ratio is one ounce per gallon. It says um, it won't strip your wax, harm your paint sealant, etc., etc., etc. It also says it uses nanotechnology to infuse the wax better into the paint. I don't know. Um, I have high hopes for this. I have heard of this car soap before, and I'm hoping that it does very well. You have to excuse my voice. Um, I don't have any sinus this time. It's a, I've had laryngitis for the past week. So this is about the first day that I've been able to um, do a video. <clears throat> and the weather is really nice outside. It's a little windy. It's a little chilly. It's, I don't know, barely 50 degrees. But I'm going to go ahead and try to get through this video so you guys can see how the Nano Wax does. We're going to be using our MTM submachine gun style foamer. For the foam portion of the test, we'll be using 10 ounces of warm water mixed with 2 ounces of our Eagle One. And then we'll switch to our bucket test to test the foamage ability. We'll be using 3 ounces of our car soap to 3 gallons of water. You know what? Nobody wants to hear me talk. Let's go out and see what this Eagle One Nano wash and wax can do. There is a little bit of sap on the car. It's been through several rainstorms. Hopefully the camera's picking this up. All right, I've got two ounces of our Eagle One and 10 ounces of warm water. Let's see how this foams. Right, you can see it was a little windy. <clears throat> Excuse me, the foam goes on very, very thick initially. There are mostly closed, small closed cell foam cells. There are a couple of medium sized foam cells interlaced in that. Uh, I could say there's a little bit of slickness in the foam itself. 
you can definitely smell the berry scent. If I didn't mention it before, it's about 50 degrees out. Now what's weird is that the foam, when it goes on, it kind of, after it sits there for, I don't know, it's been about a minute or so, it creates like this gelatinized lay, uh, layer. I haven't seen that before in a foam. All right, so we're gonna let this sit six minutes. We'll come back and see how much of the foam is left. All right, guys, here we are. Actually, it's about seven minutes later. I had a little battery problem. But as you can see, we've got, I'm gonna say 85% left on the hood, window, and top. And better than, hmm, 45 to 50 percent left on the side of the car. This is the sun side and it is windy. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse the car off and then we'll see if it removed any of our Adams paint sealant and also determine how well this rinses off the car. Here we are back and as we can see we had absolutely no degradation of our Adams liquid paint sealant. It did a very good job on the non-bonded contaminants. and I don't feel any sap at all in the hood. Okay, so <clears throat> as far as a foam, I really like this. I really like this as a foam. I'm going to say that my ranking, I'm going to give this foam an 8. Very, very good as a foam. It, um, it removed, let me see if I can get the camera. It, it isn't a light, but it removed quite a bit of brake dust from the wheels most of that is going to be bonded and you don't expect a foam pre-wash to remove that 
Um, what we're shooting for is the non-bonded contaminants, which it does a, a fine job of. But I really, I really like this. The fact that it removed the sap, and that's not normal. Usually, if it's sap that was that fell on the car the same day, uh, pre-wash will usually remove that. But if it's been you know, a couple days a week, that sap really has hardened and it's going to require hand washing to remove it. And I just don't feel any sap left on the car at all, which is really, really good. Okay, so I'm going to give that an eight. Let's get everything set up and we'll see how well this does in a hand wash and see what kind of foamage it makes. All right, guys, well, I'm going to go ahead and show you the viscosity and we'll see how this foams in a hand bucket. The scent of this is very, very berry. Extremely berry. It is a very viscous, probably an, I'm going to say medium blue color, if that means anything to you. But as we've found out with our other viscous car soaps, when you pour it in the water, it's going to basically sit on the bottom as a ribbon of soap until we agitate it with our pressure washer. You know, and if you don't have a pressure washer, you'd be agitating this with your garden hose. Okay, as far as slickness, <clears throat> so far pretty much no slickness, but let's go ahead and get the pressure washer and we'll agitate this, foam it, and see what happens. Alright, so initially it looks like we've got a lot of medium cell bubbles in here. They are breaking down rather rapidly. It could be due to the wind. Okay, this is what this is what you want to see in a wash. This is very, very slick. This feels like oiled water. And the reason that you want the slickness in the wash water is that it will help the mitt or whatever medium you're using, glide over the paint and it'll help to lift the dirt off and basically not scratch or minimize the scratching of the cars. But it is very, very, very slick. This is very good. So I'm gonna go ahead and get our wash mitts. It takes four of our synthetic lamb's wool wash mitts to do this car. And we'll see how well this performs in hand wash.
right guys, I want to go ahead and give you my final impressions of the Eagle One Wash and Wax. I've got to say that I really, really like this shampoo or this car soap. It, um, it cleaned very, very well. While I was washing, the slickness was really evident in how the wash mitt was gliding over the surface. It removed all of the bonded contaminants, which is what a uh, car wash should do, but just the fact that it had such a, a nice glide because of the slickness in the water was really, really, really good. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10 for the hand wash portion. And uh, so that's gonna be an eight for the foam and an eight out of 10 for the hand wash. Um, I'm very, very impressed. I'm gonna go ahead and put the link in the uh, description box below to Amazon where I purchased this if you'd like to try it yourself. Guys, I hope this video was helpful and I will see you on the next video.